The Chair Party of One is brought to you by Bernie Portal. What is a beneficiary? A beneficiary is an individual who has chosen to receive the benefits of property, typically in the event that the owner passes away. The benefits are often monetary, but they can also be anything else of value that is being passed down. Beneficiaries are named in many locations, life insurance policies, last will and testament, retirement accounts, brokerage accounts, bank accounts, social security disability in certain cases, and other financial products. So how do beneficiaries work? When policies, wills, or accounts are created, the owner is asked to choose a beneficiary, someone who will receive the benefits of the account, property, or other financial products after the owner passes away. Within these various documentations, the benefactor, or the one who is providing the benefits to another, can add stipulations. For instance, they may require that the beneficiary reach a certain age before receiving the inheritance. Beneficiaries are important because if they are not chosen, then there is no clear indication what will happen to your money or property when you're gone. Choosing beneficiaries can ensure not only you are aware of where your money will go, but that others involved are also aware. With an effective BIN admin system like Bernie Portals, employees can choose beneficiaries during open enrollment. They can also decide how to divide their assets among multiple beneficiaries. Types of beneficiaries. There are two types of beneficiaries. A primary beneficiary is the person or organization that the benefactor chooses as the first beneficiary upon their passing. This person can be named in a will and testament or in any other documents I mentioned earlier. A contingent beneficiary is the person or organization that is the second choice made by the benefactor to receive the benefits upon their passing. The contingent beneficiary will only receive the benefits if the primary beneficiary is no longer living or cannot be located. Someone can also choose more than one primary or contingent beneficiary. If more than one is chosen, the benefactor must list how the assets should be divided among them. People with more than one child often allocate assets by listing each child as a benefactor. Keep in mind that community property states automatically make a spouse the primary beneficiary on life insurance policies. If a different beneficiary is desired, the spouse must sign their consent. These community property states include Arizona, California, Idaho, Louisiana, Nevada, New Mexico, Texas, Washington, and Wisconsin. If employees don't choose a beneficiary, a financial institution or court will decide who receives their assets. Encourage employees to regularly review and update their beneficiary designations to reflect any life changes like marriage, divorce, or having children. That's it for this episode. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notifications about our newest episodes, which are released every Tuesday and Thursday. As always, thanks for watching.